Hibbert. I'm an artist. I do primarily music-inspired art. I, I listen to a song, I see color, and I do my visual expression of what I saw in my head when I heard that particular song. So it's really my way of bringing people into my world, forcing them to see music the way that I do, which is visually through color. I recently started this three-month journey which is a three month sabbatical from, from my full-time career. And I started it because I'm working on a, a series for the James Weldon Johnson Estate. And I've been commissioned by them to do a seven piece series inspired by James Weldon Johnson's book, God's Trombones. It's really my first time being fully dedicated to my artist self, to the right side of my brain. I know what it is to be fully dedicated to the left side of my brain through finance, through engineering. So that's what this is going to be and it'll be a meaningful time for me to also evaluate if this is, is, is a lifestyle that I'm interested in. How do I find balance between working full-time job and finance and being an artist? It's not easy. It's not an easy balance to strike. But I tell people all the time, because it's a very common question that I get, and I'm a strong believer in the fact that you make time for what you want to make time for. I give 100% of, of myself to what I want to do, and that means I make time for my art. 24 hours in a day, you may work for 10, 12, 14 of those hours, but there's still another 10 hours in that day, and you choose to do what you want with that time. And you have to define for yourself what your non-negotiables are. And for me, art is one of those non-negotiables, and, and that's how I make it happen. It's been years since I had a change, always a watch out. Lighter to the gasoline, oh, couldn't hold me. Now I'm living better days, hot chick in the black COVID. I should draw for the head of a magazine and oh my gosh, I Never seen something so bright like the sky Always got in me Oh my gosh, I Never seen something so beautiful and rare Let me breathe your air About three or four weeks into my sabbatical There was a moment where I was just catching up with a friend and grabbing drinks in Brooklyn And it was my first time recognizing that I was fully present in the moment I had full clarity. I was 100% in that moment. My mind wasn't on anything else. I wasn't thinking about anything else. I wasn't multitasking. I was literally enjoying the conversation with the person in front of me and the glass of wine that was in my hand. And that full presence of mind was something that I hadn't felt in such a long time. And it was an exciting moment for me because I knew that I had fully unplugged. It's changed me from the sense that I'm much more confident in the artist in me, if that makes sense. It's, it's always been a piece that's there, but never anything that I've actually existed in for an extended period of time. And as confident as I may come off, there's always that question in the back of your mind whether you can do it whether you could really be that person, whether it's just kind of like a hobby that you happen to be good at, or it's just like a real passion that I could pursue, that I could really do. There were a couple of times where, you know, I was getting ready to go to sleep and I kind of felt down and I wasn't sure why. And it took me a couple of times to realize what it was, but it was because I had to change my my perspective of what productivity looked like. I was so accustomed to productivity being, at the end of the day, I have this tangible thing that says I worked today or that says I was productive today. And you know, with art, it's not always gonna be like that every day. I probably spent more days outside of the studio than I did in the studio, but those days were really necessary for me to get inspired in order to create a piece. And that process often takes longer than the actual putting paint on the canvas. And so there were a couple of days where, you know, I hadn't gone to the studio, I hadn't painted anything, and I didn't have anything tangible 
into evidence that I had actually done something meaningful in that day. And so those days in the beginning were low points because I questioned how I was using my time. But then kind of maybe halfway through, I started changing my perspective on what my productivity looked like and understanding my own artistic process better and becoming more in tune with that. Um, and I kind of stopped having those low points. Sometimes you question whether where you're at is where you're supposed to be. And the three months for me was confirmation that I am 100% in position. I don't, I'm not supposed to be any further than what I am. I'm not supposed, to, I'm not moving faster than what I need to move. I'm doing exactly what it is that I'm supposed to do and I'm in position. Um, and whatever is meant to happen will happen. I'm not rushing full-time artistry or career artistry, you know, I, I'm very grateful for the ability to do both. Being able to find that, that center and that peace of mind and the fact that, hey, I, I'm an artist, that's who I am, that was a significant moment that I would not have had otherwise.